good at playing guitar. <sighs> what did you do with your summer vacation, Leo? Synthetic biometric nano-engineered crop manipulation. So using tiny robots to guard it? Exactly. It was so relaxing. Just me doing some microscopic arc welding. Leo, what is it? A letter from Camp Sappy Pines. Camp Sappy Pines? My favorite camp! No. No. No! Good news? They want me to come to their fall retreat and be a junior camp counselor. Ooh! You must be beyond excited! I can't be a junior counselor. They seem to think so. And I thought you liked Camp Sappy Pines. Or was that me? Camp Sappy Pines? My favorite camp! Yep, that was me. They can't make me a junior camp counselor. I'm too young to be partially responsible for a bunch of highly impressionable children. I won't go. They can't make me. There must be another way. To the laboratory! Finished. Now I won't have to be their junior camp counselor, because I've made them a better one. That little box is a junior camp counselor? I give you Leobot. What's it do? He is perfectly equipped for the challenges of being a junior camp counselor. I'll just upload my personality matrix into him, so he and I will even think alike. Oh, hello, Leo. What can I do for you? Leobot, you're going to Camp Sappy Pines to be a junior camp counselor. No, no, no! I don't think he wants to go to Camp Sappy Pines. I cannot do this. I cannot. Of course you can. It's why I picked you to go. You were wrong. I will not go. You cannot make me. No, no, This no, is ridiculous. No. Junior camp counseling is well within his abilities. Leobot is acting... Just like you. What? Uh, uh, me? Well, yeah. You throw a huge fit about being a junior camp counselor, even though you clearly have abilities and gifts that would make you great at it. Oh, all is darkness and sorrow. Nothing will ever be glad again. Oh, the horror. Oh, shush now. Everything will be all right. All right, all right. I'll give it a try. I better go pack. Here you go. Thank you. I'm Reggie. And I'm Rhonda, and we're... The, the X Christians! X is short for extreme. Not the Latin prefix X, which means former, in case that was unclear. We perform feats of strength for God! And post it on the internet. And today, Reggie here is going to break these six boards with the power of God's love. Make it happen, Reggie. Yeah! X Christians rule! Ouch! Hey, Gabe, are you training to be a ninja? Sort of. Have you seen the internet video X Christians? You mean like people who stopped being Christians? No. It X is short for extreme, as in extreme Christians. Oh, that's really confusing. They're basically the coolest, Leo. They love God and they prove it by breaking boards and dragging cars with their teeth. Oh, yeah, they're pretty intense. Intensely awesome. <laughs> and I'm going to be just as powerful as they are. For God. Here, hold this and observe. Uh, what are you planning to... <laughs> oh! Oh, better, better at that. Okay, this is boring. I'm leaving. Wait, don't leave. I'll lift anything over my head with the power of God. The church! The church? Wow, you answered that really fast. You said anything, so I say lift the church. Fine. 
I'm going to lift up the whole church over my head with the power of God. Extreme! Extreme! This isn't very extreme. I don't know what this is. Well, my work here is done. <coughs> I, I just wanted to be as powerful as the extreme Christians. For God. Gabe, I don't know if you'll ever be as powerful as those kids, but I bet God has something different planned for you. Like what? I have no idea. But God can do anything. God acts powerfully in our lives in all kinds of ways, including ways that don't involve breaking or lifting things. That sounds super duper. Leo, could you go get like a hundred ice packs and just drop them on me? Coming right up, buddy. Now just pull back smoothly. Like this? Yes, precisely. There she is, there she is. Bravo, bravo. Oh no, Eagle Eye Edwards. I just wanted to congratulate you on your amazing news. Amazing news? I love amazing news. Tell me the amazing news. Well, Jamila here just qualified to be on the Junior World Games Archery team. <gasps> wow! My archery teacher is on the Junior World Games archery team? Um, not quite yet. I have not decided yet if I will go. You haven't decided? But, what? This is an opportunity of a lifetime. You get to train for a year in Arlington, Texas. Arlington, Texas! A year is a long time to be separated from my family. With my mother working nights and my father working two jobs, I take care of Magnus in the evenings. <coughs> Without me... <coughs> so, what? Your parents don't want you to go because they'll lose a free babysitter? Oh, no. My parents would be very supportive of me going to Arlington. Oh, great! So you will be joining the team! I am not sure. It would be so hard on my parents. So they say they want you to go, but really they're just guilt-tripping you into staying. No, it is not guilt. Actually, my parents are very loving and supportive of me going, but all I can think of is how hard it will be for them and Magnus. So you're going to miss the Junior World Games because your parents are loving and supportive of you going to the Junior World Games. That's what it seems like she's saying, yes! <laughs> So wait, wait. <laughs> you want <laughs> oh, Magnus? <laughs> Beneath his arrogance, he has a point, does he not? Why is this so difficult to explain in a way that makes sense? No, I get it. You do? Sure. You want to join the archery team, but you already have a team. Your family. That's right. And they would have great difficulties if I left. You're trying to be a good team member to them, and they're trying to be a good team for you. I know what I must do now. Ooh, you're gonna stay. No, wait. Go? Uh, is it... I must talk with them about how I feel, and we will come up with a solution as a family. Thank you, Mimi. You are very wise. Wait, you only told me this one part of archery. What do I do after I pull back the arrow? <sighs> Wonder what those big pictures of red and white donuts are for. Aren't Leo's inventions great? Yeah, but where are the metal people with blinking googly eyes? Oh, well, Leo sometimes makes robots, but... It's been a while. I haven't made a lot of robots since one of them tried to conquer the world. <laughs> right. The Hologitomaton tried like four times. Five times, but who's counting? The important thing is that during a Bible trivia match, 
Theolog Automaton Ultimate got stuck in a logical paradox Overloading. and self-destructed. She now rests for all eternity in this city dump. Weren't you sad your robot died? Honestly, I was relieved. Now that she's gone, I can focus on other, safer inventions. Oh, oh, that's why we came over, because I invented something too. Well, Monty, it's for birds. They don't have hands for a hand mirror, so I put it on my head, and then they can see if they need to fix their hair. Thoughtful and practical. Oh, I'm so proud that you... Um, what was... Shh! Wait. Oh no, it can't be. Theo launch automaton! Leo, how dare you discard me like common refuse? You will pay for your insolence! Come out and face me in my final form, which has surpassed even your ability to understand. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Not to worry, Mimi. I've installed defense systems all around First Second Church. There! Your puny defenses are no match for me, Leo. No one can help you now. She's right. We're trapped here, all alone. Well, God is always with us. Yes, Monty, God is with us. But I, I don't know what to do. So this is it? We're doomed? I... I'm afraid so. You and Monty had better take cover. Monty? Monty! Good morning! I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You're not supposed to have bikes up on the sidewalk. Are you speaking to me? I think so. Monty! What are you doing? <laughs> you dare to challenge me alone? I'm not alone. I have my sister and Leo with me. Run for it, Monty! Oh, pretend to be asleep! And God is always with me, so I've got a bunch of things with me. Oh, and my bird mirror. Silence! Enough of this foolishness! Ooh, a nickel! That was amazing! I, I can't believe you stood up to something that powerful. What? A nickel? They're pretty harmless. First Second Church, a place of worship, a place of community, a sanctuary. But how long has it been here? Who built it? And why? Hi, I'm soon to be celebrated documentary filmmaker, Gabe. I'd like to take you on a journey through the history of First Second Church using actual archival photographs, actual archival film strips, and actual reenactments of actual historical events, which will be earning me an actual A in my history class. So let's get started. The year is 1912, and the congregation that would become First Second Church was worshiping in the basement of the local general store because they had nowhere else to meet. We have nowhere else to meet, but someday we will have a place of our own to serve as our sanctuary. Uh, Gabe, you're sure that Pastor Aloysius spoke like this? I, I just want to be accurate. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Should I start over then, since I broke character? Don't worry, I'll edit this out. Okay. Then the chance they'd been waiting for arrived. The old sawmill was going to be shut down and its owner, Tilly Mills, was putting the land up for sale. 
Pastor Aloysius rushed to meet her. Wait! Mercy, Pastor Aloysius! I thought you were an earthquake! Ms. Mills, we would like to build a church on your land. A church? That'll be the day. Oh, Pastor, you know Mr. Percy P. Pendleton. He's offering me a lot of money to build a fancy new canoe store. Canoes? Yes, they're the way of the future. I'm a thinking about taking him up on it. Besides, why would your little congregation even need a church building when you have a perfectly good basement to meet in? No, wait there just a minute. Well, I we don't know what to do if you tell me and advise me to spend money on the church or if I spend money on canoes if it was my way I'd no. spend money on ponies. And at that moment, it seemed as though Pastor Aloysius' congregation would never have their own place of worship. What was he to do? I shall speak from the heart. Miss Mills, it is true that you can worship God anywhere, but the community needs a dedicated place that was built to be a holy sanctuary for connecting with God. Wow! And my land can be used to do all of that? And how? Well, you got yourself a deal, Sonny? No! My canoe empire! And so it was that over the following year, a new church was constructed and was named Second Church because of another church that had already been built on the other side of town. And later renamed First Second Church to settle a debate with the church now known as Second Second Church. So there you have it. And while it's true that our town never got that canoe store, I would say that a sanctuary that is open to all is something worth much more than a canoe. It's worth an A in my history class. Oh no. Oh no, ho. Oh no, 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 no! for volunteering to lead First Second Church's Winter Break Bible Day Camp. No problem. I come from a long line of natural leaders. Well, I should warn you, the younger kids can be a handful, especially at Winter Break Bible Day Camp. They have a lot of energy when they're not in school all week. Here, I've prepared a lesson plan for you. That won't be necessary. I admire your confidence, Ruby, but maybe just keep it as a backup. Um, if I say I'll keep it as a backup, will it get you out of here and let me run my classroom? All right. Good luck, Ruby. Thanks so much. Bye. All right. Let's get this cakewalk bacon. Hello, children. I will be your... <laughs> Radio! No, that's not what I meant! Ruby, I got you a present for your first day. Um, not now, Victor! Open it, open it, open it! <laughs> you walked right into it! <laughs> no. Jax, those snacks are for everyone! For snack time! For the whole week! But I'm so hungry! <laughs> Got it. <sighs> Ruby? What are you doing out here? I have no idea what I'm doing, Roxy. Please, don't make me go back in there. I thought I could do this, but I realize now I can't. I can't. It's too much. 
I take back everything I said about being a leader. Where did you... I found it in the recycling bin. On the front lawn. Here. Just take a look. See, if they're overstimulated, you can try this activity here. And if one kid keeps acting out, well... You can do this, Ruby. <sighs> All right, let's try this again. Hi, Ruby. I have a present for you. A present for me? What's the occasion? You don't need a reason to give a present. You just need a present. Now close your eyes and hold out your hand. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Wow, a friendship bracelet with my name on it. Wow, this is so thoughtful. I wish I had something for you. Don't worry about it. I made one for all our friends in Sunday school because I think all of you are great. But this must have taken a long time. Nah, it only takes me about an hour to make one. That's entirely too long, Mimi. We need to get that time down to 15 minutes per unit if we ever expect to make a profit. Profit? You've given me an idea. With your talent and my cold-blooded business savvy, we can start a friendship bracelet business together. Really? Okay. But I've already given bracelets to most of our friends. Oh, Mimi, you need to think outside the friendship box. We'll never make our quarterly quota unless we expand into overseas markets. Wow, sounds exciting. Where do we start? We start with bulk inventory, Mimi. We need 2,500 units by tomorrow morning so I can start sending out samples to Milan. 2,500? I can't make that many. Don't worry, Mimi. That's what the labor division is for. Labor division? I took the liberty of setting up an assembly line. That's 1,000. Come on, team. If we reach the benchmark, Ruby will give us free company t-shirts. Hooray! Uh, when did you do all this? We have to move fast if we expect to secure a national contract. But these don't look anything like the ones I make. Yeah, but these tested way better with the focus group. B. F. F. What could it mean? Interesting. No offense, Ruby, but... I don't really care how they test with focus groups. I made them because I like them and my friends like them. Would you care if you knew that Ruby Mimi Friendship Corp stock has nearly tripled in value? See, we're already worth half a billion dollars and it's all due to friendship. Ruby, none of this has anything to do with friendship. I didn't want any of this. Are you selling your shares? No, I'm not selling my shares. I don't even know what that means. All this is a silly distraction from the reason I started making these bracelets. I care about my friends and I wanted to make something special for them. And I don't see that happening with Ruby Mimi Friendship Corp. What if we set up a personalized division as an offshoot of our global accessory empire? No! I'm gonna make a friendship bracelet for Jamila because she's my friend. All the rest of this does not matter. Buongiorno, Marco. It's Ruby. Liquidate all holdings. Well, this must be my lucky day. This is it. I finally got it. Oh, hey, Gabe. What have you got? 
You're not going to believe how much this makes you believe. These will strengthen our faith by a million percent. That's not really something we can measure, but okay. How will you do that? By showing the people photographic evidence of these. What are these? Miracles. This is a picture of leaves formed into an image of Jesus. Um, I don't know about that. And this ant farm in Mrs. Risto's third grade class has formed a picture of the Last Supper. What am I looking at here? A miracle, obviously. Oh, and here, a bowl of alphabet soup. Just today it spelled out, hello, my name is Jesus and I am with you always. It's empty. Sadly, the soup was eaten before I arrived. Gabe, what is this really about? Finally seeing a miracle, like when Jesus walked on water or fed 5,000 people. You can see how this is different, right? These seem like pretty much the same thing. Except Jesus' miracles were to show how God's power makes the impossible possible. And? And Jesus' miracles showed Jesus' great faith and inspired faith in others. And? And these pictures don't seem to confirm either great faith or the impossible happening. Yep. Your logic is sound. <sighs> That's a bummer. I was really looking forward to my faith being supercharged by seeing something truly miraculous, like people would have back in Jesus' time. Well, even back in Jesus' time, people who saw miracles still had doubts. Growing your faith seems like it's always been a process, with or without miracles. <sighs> I guess you're right. Well, looks like I'm giving up miracle chasing. It's probably for the best. Wait. What? You might think I'm crazy, but does that pile of craft sticks not look exactly like the Apostle Paul? Yeah, it's pretty close. Monty made that. Oh. Thank you.